6 forecast. We're still continuing to see some very mild temperatures this afternoon as we're currently into the 50s and 60s, but we are just starting to see some steadier rain move in from the west. Still staying mostly cloudy for St. Mary's this afternoon. Rain will be moving in over the next couple of hours. Starting off this afternoon at 59 for St. Mary's with a little bit of a breeze from the southeast between around 5 and 10 miles per hour. But taking a look at Doppler 6 satellite and radar, you can see that steadier line of rain just beginning to move in from the west. Seeing some of that steadier rain moving through Somerset into Johnstown, Indiana, and Punxsutawney. And this line of rain will continue moving off to the east over the next few hours. So we'll continue to see some off and on rain throughout the rest of this afternoon. Also seeing the possibility for a few rumbles of thunder and some wind gusts up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour with temperatures still well above average today. Yesterday, we made it up to 58 for Johnstown. 63 for Altoona and Indiana, 61 for Dubois, and 57 degrees for St. Mary's. So we'll continue to see that rain this afternoon. Steadier rain moves in for Wednesday. So over the next two days, most of the area will end up with around three quarters of an inch of rainfall. But we also will see those winds pick up as that cold front moves through tomorrow, seeing that steadier rain and wind gusts up to around 30 to 40 miles per hour throughout tomorrow afternoon and evening. Wind speeds will start to die down a bit heading into Thursday, but it still will be a bit breezy with wind gusts up to around 20 to 30 miles per hour, and we also will see some colder temperatures. But for the rest of this afternoon, definitely going to want to keep the umbrella handy as we'll continue to see some off and on rain throughout this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies with highs into the 50s. Steadier rain moves in late tonight and will stick with us throughout most of the day tomorrow. Still seeing highs into the 50s. Then after that front moves through, we'll trend a bit colder for overnight Wednesday into early Thursday, seeing the chance for a few flurries. But then by Thursday afternoon, cloud cover will start to clear out and we'll see a little bit of sun, but high temperatures will only make it into the upper 20s and low 30s. And it still will be a bit breezy, so likely feeling even a little bit colder than that. But taking a look at our full seven day forecast, seeing that rain move through today and tomorrow, high temperatures still into the 50s and 60s. After that front moves through Wednesday, we'll trend a bit colder for Thursday and Friday, seeing highs into the 30s for Thursday, back into the 40s for Friday, but then overall quiet weather will stick around into the weekend and into early next week, as we'll stay mostly dry with partly to mostly sunny skies through early next week and high temperatures warming back up into the 50s and 60s.